pull the mind out of the body and to ascend your energy moving from particle to wave from matter to energy from living in survival to living in creation transmuting the flesh being the alchemist and turning limited emotions into elevated emotions and freeing yourself and to breathe with a level of energy and intensity that's greater than the addiction of any emotion. Freeing yourself from the past. Come on, here we go now. Contract those intrinsic muscles, perineum, lower abdomen, upper abdomen. And as you pull those muscles up and in, inhale through your nose and in one slow, steady breath. Pull that energy from your perineum, through your lower abdomen, through your upper abdomen, through your chest, through your throat, through your brain, all the way to the top of your head, and hold it at the top of your head, and allow your energy to follow your awareness, and hold it, and squeeze, come on, hold it, hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Come on, be your own hero. Overcome yourself. And free the body from the past. Come on, again now, like drawing fluid up a straw. Inhale through your nose and contract those intrinsic muscles. Come on, pull that energy from your perineum all the way to the top of your head and hold it at the top of your head and let your energy follow your awareness and hold it there. Come on, hold it. And as you exhale now, relax. Come on, from matter to energy, creating your own electromagnetic field come on again now come on pulling the mind out of the body and freeing yourself contract those intrinsic muscles come on perineum lower abdomen upper abdomen inhale through your nose and pull that energy from your body all the way into your brain, hold it at the top of your head, come on, hold it, hold it, come on, let that energy move into your brain and hold it there, hold it, come on, hold it, and as you exhale, now relax. Come on, freeing your body from the past. You have to use a level of intensity that's greater than the hardwired programs in your brain and the emotional memories in your body. Come on, here we go now. Come on, squeeze those muscles and inhale through your nose and pull that energy from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. Hold your attention at the top of your head and let your energy Follow your awareness, hold it there, come on, squeeze and hold, hold it, hold it, come on, hold it. And as you exhale, now relax, come on, be the alchemist, limited emotions, 
to elevated emotions. body as an instrument of consciousness. Squeeze those intrinsic muscles. Come on, pull them up and all the way in and inhale through your nose. Come on, pull that energy all the way to the top of your head. And hold it at the top of your head. Come on, hold it. Allow that energy to follow your awareness. Come on, hold it with the intention of pulling the mind out of the body and freeing yourself from the past. Come on, hold it. Hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Relax. the vortex. Create a field around you. By liberating energy, you have to go after it. Come on, take a big drink on this one now. Come on. Inhale and contract those muscles and follow that energy from your perineum through your body all the way to the top of your head and squeeze and hold at the top of your head. Come on, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And as you exhale now, relax. Relax. of your head in space and can you feel the volume of space at the center of your head occupies in space and can you become aware volume of space beyond your head in space
can you rest your awareness in the space at the back of your head occupies in space and can you sense the volume of space at the back of your head occupy in space and now can you become aware of the volume of space around your head in space become 
become aware of the volume of space at the center of your chest occupies
And what is abundance? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have all of your needs met? What could that feel like? What is inspiration? Come on, can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be empowered by an idea and to see a future without obstacles? What would that feel like? What is vitality? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have limitless energy? What would that feel like? What is divinity? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be moved by the spirit? What could that feel like? What is passion? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be in love with life? What would that feel like? Teach your 
body emotionally what it feels like to trust in the unknown. What would that feel like? What is clarity? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have a coherent mind and heart? What would that feel like? What is presence? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have all of your attention and energy in the moment? What? And what is surrender? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to give your creation to a greater mind? What would that feel like? What is the mind of the healer? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to give life, life, what would that feel like? What is the miraculous? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to do the uncommon? What will that feel like?
what is the mind of the mystic? Can you touch your body emotionally? What it feels like to live in awe and to be mystified by all of life? What could that feel like? What is adventure? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to expect the unexpected? And to embrace the unknown? What could that feel? What is wholeness? You teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be worthy of receiving. What would that feel like? What is grace? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have effortless elegance? What would that feel like? What is appreciation? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to give thanks for a future before it's made manifest? Come on. What would that feel like?
finally. What is the greatest expression of yourself? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be unlimited? To be divine? Have a joy for existence. And to love who you are in all of life. Can you teach your body emotionally what your future could be like now?